Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Back in Dentistry. Today I will be talking about the cephalosporin group of drugs. I will give you the simple tips to remember the drugs in every generation of the cephalosporin. As we have, uh, as you are looking this, I have formed the table uh, to make you easily remember each and everything. Let's start the video. I have already mentioned each uh, cephalosporin group of drug in every generation. So let's start. You have seen that ceph is common in every generation. Now, moving to the first generation, what we see here is we found A after ceph. Cephazoline, cephalexin, cephalothene, cephaldroxyl. So here in first generation what we are looking this is that we found A after Ceph. So for the first generation what we remember th this is that after Ceph whenever A came then it will came to your first generation drug. Exception is with Cephachlor which is a second generation drug. I have mentioned the exception here below so it's easy for you to remember now moving to the fourth generation what we see here is we have pi in between pi cephepime and cephepyrome if after ceph you will get pi then it will belong to the fourth generation cephalosporin now moving to the fifth generation what we are seen here is we found rol after cef rol for example cefta rolin you found rol so it's belong to the fifth generation now for the third generation what we are looking here is we found when me and 10 what we found when me and 10 after ceph for example ceph trioxone cephexine ceftibutane so whenever you found one me and 10 after ceph it belonged to the third generation cephalosporin exception is cephaloxime where me came after Ceph. This belonged to the second generations. So, quickly on summarizing, what I have told is whenever A came after Ceph, it belonged to the first generation as A is a first alphabet, so it belonged to the first generation. Exception is Cephachlor. Now, moving to the third generation, we get 1, me, and 10 after Ceph. So, it's easy to remember this third generation. Fourth generation, what we get? PI. PI we get after Ceph. So, it's belong to the fourth generation. And if we get ROL, ROL, after uh, Ceph, this belong to the fifth generation. Remaining else belong to the second generation. Many questions came directly one-liners from this group of drugs. For example, cephepime belongs to which generations of cephalosporin? You can easily answer this that it belonged to the fourth generation cephalosporin. Now, first generation cephalosporin is eff active against effective against uh, gram positive bacteria. Second generation, both gram positive and gram negative. Third generation is effective against gram positive, gram negative, wider spectrum. Fourth generation, gram negative. And the fifth generation is effective against MRSA. What's the full form? Methicillene resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Hope you like this video. If you find it informative, please like, share, subscribe the channel for more video if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section thank you